Murphy coming past Barry Ferguson. Sproul. Twisting and turning. And Gary O'Connor is there. And Hibbs takes the lead of Ibrox early in the second half. And are going to be Rangers for the third time this season. But we said Ivan Sproul is stronger on his right foot. But what a good delivery on his left side. He seems to guess that he's determined to go on his right side, but he has to come back onto his left. O'Connor's got the arm up, nobody picking him up, Ian Murray have tucked in. I thought it's a delightful ball into the back post, just hands it up beautifully. It's a ball that takes one on back to the side of the game, I think Vatteris is too fast towards his front post. And it's a simple finish there for Gary O'Connor. The goal is gaping in front of the army of his fans who come along the... Oh, his Ivan Sproul! He's done it again! The man who hit a hat-trick here in August has got trouble in store for Rangers again and Hibbs could be about to record a famous cup victory. Well, it was Sproul who set up O'Connor for the first, but Gary O'Connor repays the compliment here. He's all over Kiriakos. He's not going to win it cleanly himself, but he makes sure that Kiriakos isn't getting a, a cleaning header on that. Sproul always too quick here for Andrews. Just a shift with his right foot, and what a good finish that is. Time to set himself, get his head over the ball. And there's more than enough pace to beat Batteris. But Gary O'Connor did ever so well to bully Kiriakos for the, the long ball forward. Sproul has scored a 23 minute hat trick. Ryden's touch. Slipping it through here for Killam, and he's going to get another chance, he put it away, Chris Killam, it is 3-0 to Hibbs, and they are living a dream here, they are going to knock Rangers out of the Scottish Cup on their own patch. Well, it's a terrific finish from a tight angle, but the first touch from Ryden to get the ball under control is exquisite. Vatinus doesn't do much wrong, he's out, he makes himself big. But it's unfortunate that he can't get it behind. And even though the angle is doing killing, no favours at all. What a fine finish that is. The control from Ryden absolutely exquisite, as was the weight of the ball to kill him. He gets a little bit lucky, Vatinus does nothing wrong, but he can't get it behind.